Ready for this? Yes. This is going to help us all reclaim our lives and reconnect with our true selves. Sounds fantastic, That's doesn't it? That's right. Robin Moreno has spent years as a media executive, a public speaker, in front of the camera, behind the camera. She seems to have it all, but behind the camera, she was battling mm -hmm. burnout. Gee, that sounds mm. vaguely familiar. Mm. <laughs> she decided to take a step back. Beautiful. Uh, and go on a little journey of self-discovery. Traveling to Mexico and Belize, she began to root into the person that she was meant to be. So Robin details her experience in her new book out this month. It's called Get Rooted, Reclaim Your Soul, Serenity, and Sisterhood, The Healing Medicine of the Grandmothers. Okay? She joins us live this morning. Hello and welcome to New York Living. Hi, thanks for having me. Oh. Robin and I go way back like rocking chairs. Somehow we're aging in reverse. <laughs> But yeah. I said, you look relaxed. I haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah. You look relaxed and you look clear. Rejuvenated. Yeah. yeah. Maybe rooted, maybe. Ro I look a little Ooh. rooted. Yes. I'm just saying. Just rooted. I love the branding. Once yeah. a media executive, there's always a little piece that's in the back. <laughs> Talk to us about getting off the tightrope. Yeah. And being like, you know what? I cannot do all of this. I mean, y'all could probably relate, right? Like, love media. Moved to New York City from... San Antonio, Texas. Go with Spurs. Go Spurs. <laughs> Amazing. Go Spurs, that's right. With really the singular idea of wanting to tell stories about my community that were not being told, about women, women of color, Latinas, right? You know, we representation, you know, you can't be what you can't see. Ooh. And so it was always so important to me. It felt like mission-driven work that I wanted to uplift and profile and tell these stories. But what happened, what began to happen is as I started to climb this ladder, you know, I got busier and busier uh -huh. with less resources. And I just was wondering, like, what am I doing? What's going on? I felt a mm. giant disconnect because what I was writing about, like, if it was health and wellness, I wasn't giving it to myself. Mm. I wasn't exercising, even though I knew that. I wasn't breathing. Mm. I wasn't doing the things. I was over drinking, over caffeinating. I didn't feel good in my body. And the worst part is that I was saying that I was doing it for my kids but I was never seeing my kids. Oh. And so I just was like, you know, I, don't, I didn't hit the ceiling so much as the floor mm. in complete Ooh. exhaustion and burnout. And I knew something had to give. Mm -hmm. I told you she's good. I, I, I'm, I'm like taking, I feel like I'm at a, at a talk right now. Yeah. I'm trying to take this she all in and process her free it. free TEDx talk. Yes, this is a little tidbit of what you'll get in this book. So it begs the question, why did you have to go all the way to Belize and Mexico to learn about the inner workings of yourself? That's such a good question. And honestly, for most of the book, I do it in my own backyard. Mm. So this isn't where, yeah, it's very accessible. I have two kids. Like, yeah. I have a husband, I have a house, I had to work. Like, uh -huh. I couldn't just disappear and be like, peace, y'all, <laughs> see you next year. Um, <laughs> she, I thought she was going to tell us. <laughs> I know. Body yeah. Soul's got a bag packed already. Yeah, and, but what I did do it, is yeah. I started in Mexico. So I did take a break, and my cousin lives in Mexico, and she invited me there. And just being there, just the ancestral space of my yes. grandmothers, being on the beach, being in nature. And I also read something. I read about this concept of soul loss because I was feeling so disoriented and so not rooted. And I read this idea that just as much as your body can hurt and your, you can hurt your mind, that we can actually wound our soul. It's called a soul loss. And oh it happens gosh. often after like a trauma, yeah. like a piece of you will flee or will freeze. And what happens is you feel this incompletion and you keep trying to fill it. I kept trying to fill it with achievement, with, mm. you know, doing, if I do this thing, I'm going to feel good. If I'm, you know, and I did all the things and I it just wasn't filling it and so once I, I understood that then the opposite is we have to go in a soul retrieval you have to go oh back gosh. and retrieve your soul and I was like it spoke to me like it's speaking to you now and I said that's what I need to do I need to turn around I need to look back at the pieces of my life where I've lost myself right where have I lost myself and we lose ourselves all the time oh, society sure. makes us lose sure. ourselves Things happen to us, we break up, we lose right. jobs. And there's, we, I needed to go back and get back that confidence and go back into the root of who I used to be and I remembered myself to be. Right. So wow. for the viewers at mm. home and for the viewers right here. For me. Taking notes. <laughs> what is the first or perhaps the most important step yeah. um, to get rooted? Because I would, I would imagine that we all have lost a piece of our soul. Yeah. yeah. But finding it or reclaiming it looks different for different people. Absolutely, and I'm so glad you said that. I would just say, stopping, pausing, and just taking a breath mm -hmm. and really feeling into your body, really just taking a pause and just checking in and see where you are. Mm -hmm. 
And then what I did, there's this thing called the four paths to rootedness, yes, which is really accessible for everyone. So this is ancient medicine. So the ancient uh -huh. Aztecs, also known as the Mexica, they believed the world was slippery slick. It was an unstable world. And mm -hmm. we feel that, right? Mm -hmm. We like lose our jobs, loved ones betray us, the pandemic knocks us on our butts, right? right? So how do we find rootedness? They found four ways, super easy ways. The first one was to remember your body. Come back to your body. When you're in your head, like you're anxious, oh, you're ruminating, yeah. it's here, you oh, feel it right yes. here. So you need to come back into the body, you can move, you can get massage, you can dance, you massage, whatever is good for you, come back and just come into your body. Yeah. The second thing is to really balance those emotions. I call it over and out, right? So it's open and release or over and out. Yeah. If you are feeling overwhelmed, overstressed, over angry, Get that out of your body. Yeah. Get it with, like with a long exhale, journaling. You want to move those emotions. And the third one is open and connect. Mm. Connection. Connection is the cure. Mm -hmm. So often we don't feel good. When I was too busy, I didn't have time for anybody. Right. I didn't yeah. see friends. I didn't, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I didn't have times for loved ones, for my own family, people that I claimed to love. I had it backwards. Yes. It's like, it's, it's the cure. People are the cure. And also we have to ask for help. I did not know how to ask for help. Yeah. I would give, 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 but you know what? I and also have, have to learn how to receive. Then I have nothing to give. You mm -hmm. can't give what you don't have. You can't pour from an empty cup. You can't right. pour from an empty cup. And the last one was to be in nature, to connect. And this is accessible to all of us. Science right. and ancient religions, we know to be outside, inhale, feel the sun, root really brings us back home to ourselves. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need a minute after this. <laughs> Robin, thank you so much. For everything that you've done. Yeah, Thank and, and, and for being to. here. This yeah. is very important work. And, and you we continue feel the conversation in a podcast. The podcast, which is also called. Yes, so Get Rooted with Robin Moreno. So all kinds of episodes where I get to tell the stories of so amazing people who reclaim and root. And my book, that's where I got to write my own story. And that so was nice. its own he a healing all its own. And it's available Thank in hardback, Kindle, audio. Everywhere. Yeah, so all Thank the ways. So Thank you Run, for having me. Run, don't walk. Robin, pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Okay, there it is, oh. folks. I love it. I love mm, the picture, mm, too. Mm.